Welcome. This is a 30-minute flow style yoga class. So put on some music or maybe use your breath sounds as the soundtrack. Let's begin in Peaceful Warrior. Bring your big toes to touch, knees splay outwards. Reach forward with your hands, and as you exhale, bring your hips to your heels. Melt your upper body, and bring your forehead to the ground. Take a few deep breaths in this position, moving from that thinking brain and into the feeling body, making that distinct shift of focus. Adding movement to that breath, grounding into your hands as you inhale, lift your hips upwards. Exhale, drop your hips back down. Inhale, articulate through the spine. Exhale, push all of that air out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift the hips up. Find a tabletop position, readjusting the legs. Tuck your toes. And as you exhale, lift your hips up for downward facing dog. It's a really cool posture. We're supporting our entire body weight with all four limbs, hopefully equally. Strengthening that front body chain, lengthening that backside body chain. Come high onto your toes and then start to tiptoe forward. Tiptoeing, taking your time. Finding your feet in between your hands for a forward fold. As you inhale, come halfway lift, halfway up with a straight spine, and then exhale, let it go. Inhale, reverse swan dive, slightly bent knees. Look up, reach up, hands meet at the top. Exhale, bring your hands to your side. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Slight bend in the knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Hands come up. Exhale, bring your hands to your side. Inhale. Arms reach. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down, step back to a plank pose. Drop down to your knees, and then slowly lower all the way down to the mat. Keep your hands underneath your armpits and inhale. Lift the upper body with the use of that backside strength. And then exhale. Fold, lower your forehead down. Inhale, one more time, baby cobra. Tuck in the chin, and then exhale, forehead down to the mat. Inhale your hips up to a tabletop position. Now kickstand your left leg out to the left. Like this. Ground into your left hand, and then sweep your right foot in line with your left knee and your left hand. As you inhale, draw your right arm upwards. And then shift weight forward into your left hand. Revolve the upper body open just a tad. Feel that sensation in your left armpit. Now move your right feet, foot towards the back of the mat so you can come up onto your left fingertips. Engage your right side body. Inhale up for gate pose. And then exhale your right hand down your right leg as you reach up and over with your left hand. Inhale back up to gate pose. Exhale, windmill the arms down, find tabletop position. I'll be moving around throughout class so that I'm facing you and, demonstra and demonstrating. From your tabletop position, exhale your hips down 
to your heels, and then inhale, sweep your hip, hips up and through. Exhale, your hips to the right and down. Inhale them up and through. One more time, exhale, and inhale. This time, kickstand your right leg out to the right. Ground into your right hand and then sweep your left foot so it's in line with your right knee and right hand. Inhale, sweep your left arm upwards. Revolve open with your upper body as you shift weight into your right hand. Sensing and activating those muscles in your right shoulder girdle. And then slide the left foot towards the back of the mat so you can come up onto your right fingertips, engaging the left side body. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, left hand down the left leg as you reach up and over with the right hand, sensing that right side body. Inhale, back up to gate pose. Exhale, windmill everything down. Find a tabletop position. Exhale, your hips over to the left down to your heels, inhale your hips up, exhale them down, inhale them up, last time, exhale, sweep those hips, inhale up, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale your right leg to lift, take a bend in that knee and stack your right hip on top of the left hip, Try to equalize the weight into your hands by bringing more weight into your right hand. Now close off those hips. Exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Inhale, send that leg back. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Find a good base. We're getting ready for a crescent lunge high into the fingertips. Inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, bring the fingertips back, cover the upper body. Inhale, sweep the arms upwards. Keep the arms where they are, and then as you exhale, hover the upper body. Bring those hands back, palms facing down. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and through. Exhale, hands come to heart center, one-legged Tadasana. Bring your left hand on top of that left knee and push into the knee as you bring the knee into your hand. Allow that to get you to stand up a little bit taller. Beautiful. Left hand meets your right hand. Exhale, left foot meets your right foot. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, sit into a chair pose. This first version of chair pose, we're sending weight into our heels so we can free up our toes dropping the hips down, but making sure that we're not wearing our shoulders like headphones and we're rolling those shoulders down the back. You might notice your biceps come further forward, that's okay. We're working on shoulder flexion, bringing the biceps further backwards. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. Exhale, fold, jump back, flow back. Halfway down, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Stack your left hip on top of your right hip. Equalize weight back into that left hand. Breathe. Close off your hips. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Inhale, send that leg back. Exhale, step your left, left foot in between your hands. Have a really nice base high onto your fingertips. Inhale, sweep your arms upwards. Exhale, hover the upper body, send those fingertips back. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hover the upper body. Bring your fingertips back, palms facing down. Inhale, sweep that right leg up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your right hand on top of that right knee. Push into your hand with your knee. Push into your knee with your hand. And stand up a little bit taller. Right hand meets your left hand. Exhale, right foot meets your left foot. 
Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Now bring your arms out in front of you and exhale, sit it even lower. Looking for a 90 degree angle behind our, in the back of our legs. Our upper body's traveling forward at a 45 degree angle to counterbalance. Really nice. Keep going with those hands, drop them down to the mat. Plug your knees into your armpits, lift your feet upwards. Then shoot back, halfway down push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody come down to your knees. Untuck your toes, send the hips back. Child's pose. Spend a couple more breaths in your child's pose. Recovering your heart rate, slowing down, focusing on the exhalation phase. Seeing if you can exhale a little bit longer than you inhale. Root into your hands, lift the hips up to tabletop, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, stack your right hip on top of your left hip. And you can keep going, this is optional, to flip your dog, try to see if you can hover your right foot over the ground before you place it down, fully revolving open. We'll come back to the three-legged downward facing dog, right leg lifts, exhale, right knee to right elbow, inhale, send that leg back, exhale, twist right knee to left elbow, inhale that back, exhale, step your right foot in between your hands, high onto your fingertips, for crescent lunge, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hover the upper body, send the fingertips back. Inhale, the arms overhead. Keep the arms where they are and then exhale, hover the upper body. Send the fingertips back, palms facing down. Inhale, sweep the left leg up and through, arms come overhead. As you exhale, twist over to the left. That right hand can grab the outside of your left knee reaching back with our left hand and then eventually turning the eye gaze towards those left fingertips. Option to reach down, kick into your hand. My feet and hand like to kick it. You have a, you're kicking into your hand, take a bend back into that knee. Inhale, come back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center as you send the left foot towards the back of the mat, pivot it at a 90 degree angle for warrior two. I'm going to readjust so that I'm facing you. As you exhale, bring your left hand to your right hand. As you inhale, draw that arm back, straighten your right leg, close your eyes, become expressive in this movement. Exhale and then inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, hands meet, inhale, pivot the toes, arms overhead, exhale, swan dives, forward fold, wide-legged. Walk your hands out so you're in more of a wide-legged downward facing dog. Push the ground away and then come high onto your toes, lifting, lifting the hips up and then dropping the heels and the hips down. Inhale, high into those toes, push the ground away, and then drop those heels down. Keep going with the hands, walk them behind you so that your fingertips are pointing backwards, melting the upper body down. Toes are a little bit pigeon-toed. And engage in the core, bring your belly button to your spine. Knit in your ribs so hard that if you were to let go of this traction, you could keep the depth with the use of that core. Slowly release, 
And then we're going to walk our hands to frame our right foot, coming down to our left knee. As you inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms, send the hips forward, find a psoas stretch. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, push away that bad energy. Straighten the right leg, half splits. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, psoas stretch. Inhale, up. Exhale, push that bad energy away. Those bad vibes, keep only the good ones. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, twist over to the right, hooking your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. And then revolving, we're twisting from the upper thoracic. So on each inhale, imagine that you're getting longer, creating space between those vertebrae. And then think about adducting, bringing the knee inwards. Options are you can tuck that back toes, lift your left knee. You can always pivot that foot to more of a warrior two sort of stance. You can always open up in the arms here. If your arms are open, bring the back down, come back down to that back knee. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, frame your right foot, tuck the back toes, lift that leg for standing splits. Nice. Now this transition, you can come back to a Chaturanga Dandasana, or you can push into the ground, try to get some hang time. Pushing into the ground. Lifting up. And then find a Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg upwards. Exhale. Open up in your hips, stacking your left hip on top of that right hip. You can keep going if you want, but hover that left foot before you open up all the way. Don't kick your long board. That's one of the more challenging things about this home practice stuff is not knocking all your shit over. <laughs> Come back, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, that leg up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist. Inhale, send that leg back. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. High onto your fingertips. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hover the upper body, send the fingertips back. Inhale, the arms up. Keep the arms where they are and then exhale, hover the upper body. Send the hands back. Palms facing down, sweep that right leg up and through. Exhale, twist over to the right this time. If your hand and foot like to kick it, maybe do that. Last thing is bringing your eye gaze towards those right fingertips. Come back to center. Whoa, arms overhead, hands to heart center, tricky transition. Through warrior three, send that back foot back, pivot it at a 90 degree angle. Windmill the arms up, warrior two. Exhale, right hand meets your left hand. Inhale, draw that arm back, straighten your left leg. Exhale, right hand meets your left hand. Inhale, draw it back, maybe close your eyes. Exhale, be expressive, and then inhale. Exhale, right hand meets your left hand. Inhale, pivot the toes, reach up. This time, find a goddess pose by sending your toes at a 45 degree angle. Hands come to heart center as you drop your hips. The, the tendency for me is that my knees want to knock in, but I'm going to turn on this outer hip to avoid that, to draw the knees back. Hands come to heart center. Drop that right elbow on your right knee, reach up and over with your left hand. Exhale back to center. Inhales lengthen us, reach to the left. Exhale back to center. Inhale, reach up and over with the left. Exhale to center, last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, center, high into the toes. 
Maybe lift the arms overhead. Drop those heels. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Start to walk your hands to frame your left foot this time. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, so as stretch. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, push those bad vibes away. Only the good ones. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, back bend with a so as stretch. Inhale. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, up. Hands meet. Exhale, twist over to the left. Hooking your right elbow on the outside of the left knee this time. Options to tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then spin that foot down. It'll revolve or make this twist a little bit deeper, a little bit more active. Extend in the arms if you want. Close the arms if they're open, come down to that knee if it's lifted. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, frame the left foot. Tuck your back toes. Inhale that right leg up for a standing split. Take your chaturanga however you'd like, but the standing split transition is great to try to get some hang time. If you don't get some hang time for the first jump, try a couple more times. dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody come down to your knees, untuck your toes, send the hands back, grab a hold of your heels with your hands, round in, bring your chin to your chest, and breathe. Bring your arms back out in front of you. Splay the knees out. Come into that first position that we started with. This time walk your hands over to the right. Pin down that right hand with your left hand. And then on your exhale, find more room to breathe on your left side body. Find that opening on that left lat, that left outer shoulder. And release your hands, walk them back to center. Stay here for one inhale and one exhale. And then walk your hands over to the left this time. Pin down your left hand with your right hand and then on the exhale, open up your right side body. Release that hand, walk your hands back to center, ground into the mat, inhale the hips up for a tabletop position, and just right away bring your right knee to your right wrist, and then bring the lower leg on the inside of you. We're looking to get our lower leg eventually perpendicular to the mat, so do your best, but it doesn't have to be that way, we're working towards it. Start to scoot that left knee back so that you create more of a distance between that left knee in this front leg. At first we're gonna stay tall, be really tall, be a strong pigeon. Nice, and if you choose to bring this pigeon down for a pigeon de muerte or a dead pigeon, try to do it with three big pulses forward. So one on the exhale, inhale back up, exhale go further and deeper, Inhale up, exhale all the way down. This feels good. Maybe pause your video for about a minute or two and just stay in this position. 
releasing with each exhale, surrendering. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, inhale the upper body up. Tuck your back toes, move your left knee in about a foot. That'll help free up space. Let this right leg out, maybe a half breaststroke leg. Half breast or like half egg beater leg. That would be hard, that's hard from this position. Nice. Now the left knee comes into the left wrist. Lower leg goes on the inside of you and then start to scoot that back foot back and back and back. Starting from this proud New York City type pigeon. And if you choose to come down in your pigeon, kind of do three big motions, exhaling down, inhaling back up, exhaling down, inhaling back up, exhaling and holding here. your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift that knee, scoot that knee in. Nice. Free up space for your left leg, left half breaststroke leg. And then bring your knees together. Roll onto your right hip. Using your right bicep as a pillow, pause in your fetal position. And then slowly roll onto your back. Option to take any final resting posture, any posture that's going to round out your practice before this final resting posture. Thank you for joining me for Flow Yoga. Stay tuned for more from Sweat Yoga Studio. Namaste.